Magandang araw po. Nakalimutan mo ba ang iyong password sa iyong PRC Liris account? Watch this video dahil tutulungan ko kayo kung paano mag-reset ng inyong password sa inyong PRC Liris account. Kasi karamihan po sa atin, nakakalimutan po natin ang ating password. So, ngayong araw po ay tutulungan ko po kayo. So, first po, search po natin yung www.prc.gov.ph So, punta po tayo sa website ng PRC. Then, so, dito po tayo sa PRC. Then, services po. Close lang po natin ito. Then, services. Then, online application po. Then, okay lang po. And close. So, dito po tayo sign in. So, ilagay po natin dito ang ating email address. So, dapat po ang inyong email address ay active o naka-sign in sa inyong cellphone o laptop. So, dapat po active po ang ating email address na gagamitin. Then, halimbawa po na kalimutan ko po ang aking password. So, I'm not a robot. And, sign in. So, ito po yung lalabas. Information, incorrect email and password so yung gagawin po natin dito lang po sa forgot password click po natin then email address enter your email address and click submit for us to email to you the instructions so lagay po natin ang ating email address So, dito po isi-send ng PRC yung instruction sa pag-reset po ng ating password. So, click submit for us to email to you the instructions. Then, I'm not a robot. Click po natin. Then, Basahin po natin, no, please check your spam folder in case the message was not in your inbox. Message may take up to 24 hours depending on the number of people requesting for password. Then, submit po. So, dito po isi-send yung instruction sa email. Then, click submit. Okay, so success, we sent a message to your email. You can proceed in resetting your password by following the instructions. Then, okay lang po. Okay, then punta po tayo dun sa ating email account. Then, check po natin kung meron na pong email na sinend yung PRC. So, punta po tayo sa ating email. Then, check po natin. Okay, so tingnan po natin. Okay, hintayin lang po natin. Okay, so meron na pong email na galing, galing sa PRC. So, PRC Online Forgot Password. So, click po natin. So, nandito po yung instructions. Follow lang po natin. Okay, so good day. By clicking this button, you will be able to reset your password. 
click here to reset password. So, dito, ito po yung ating i-click. So, hello, Zenny. You can change your password by clicking submit button after filling up the fields. So, tandaan nyo po, bago po kayo mag-reset ng password, dapat isulat nyo muna ang password na gagagamitin para hindi makalimutan kasi minsan kakapalit lang po natin kapapalit lang po natin ng password nakalimutan na agad so dapat tandaan isulat po natin muna yung password na ating gagamitin so lagay po natin dito at saka sa second po so password do not match so dapat po pareho yung password Then, sa uh, baba din po, confirm password po. So, dapat pareho po yan or dapat magmatch po. So, dapat magmatch po yung ating password. So, passwords match. Okay, so check ko lang po ulit. So, retype ko lang. Then, passwords do not match. Passwords must be less than, not less than 6 characters. Password must be at least 1 letter, 1 number, and 1 special character. For security purpose, examples of special characters. Then, lagay po natin ang ating new password. Then, dapat po magmatch po yung mga passwords. Then, confirmation. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes lang po. Then, success. Password successfully changed. Then, okay lang po. Then, you can now log in using your new password. Then, click to redirect to homepage. Then, okay lang po natin. Then, sign in po tayo. Gamit po yung ating email address. At saka yung ating new password. Okay, so click po natin. Lagay po natin ang ating new password. Okay, then new password po natin. Then, click po natin, I'm not a robot. Then, sign in. So, notice, one-time email address validation of existing and new accounts. Only valid email ad addresses will be accepted. Once email address is verified, validated, changing of email address will no longer be allowed. Accounts without complete profile or data will not be able to proceed with email address validation and changing of email address via system and shall be required to email technical assistance at prc.gov.ph for assistance tandaan Only valid email addresses will be accepted. Then, click lang po natin ang OK. The user not yet verified. Please verify your email address first. So, close lang po natin ito. Then, email validation. So, ito po yung ating email. Enter your details and click submit for us to email to you the instructions. So, click po natin, I'm not a robot. 
then submit so note for old accounts who can't access their email you can change your registered email here and we will resend validation of email So, click po natin yung submit. So, email has been sent to your account. Please validate your account to continue. Then, punta po tayo sa ating email account. You will re receive email confirmation within 24 hours upon submission. Then, okay lang po natin. Then, punta po tayo sa ating email account. Then, i-check po natin. So, meron na po dito na PRC email validation. So, para po ma-validate po natin ang ating email. So, click po natin ito, PRC online email validation. So, good day. By clicking the button, you will be able to validate your email address. So, click here to validate email. So, please do not reply to this email address. So, validate, validate email address. You are not logged in. Please log in first to validate your account email address. So, type po natin dito or ilagay po natin dito ang ating email address. Then, ang ating password, yung bagong password po natin. So, tandaan, dapat tama po ang ating email address at password. Then, click po, I'm not a robot. So, click po natin ito. So, double check po muna natin. Dapat po tama yung email at saka yung password. So, double check po natin para hindi po tayo pa ulit-ulit. Mas maganda na po yung nag-double check tayo. So, para tama po. So, click po natin. I'm not a robot. Then, click submit. So, click po natin yung submit. So, ito po yung lalabas. Tingnan natin. Email validated. Your email has been successfully validated. You can now proceed on creating your transaction. Click to redirect to homepage. So, click po natin ito. So, validated na po yung ating email. So, ito po yung lalabas. Okay, so yan po advisory. So yan po yung advisory ng PRC. So hindi ko na po ito i-okay. So kapag ito po, in-okay nyo po ito. So pwede na po kayo dyan mag-select ng transaction or mag-create po kayo kung ano po yung transaction na gusto nyo. Um, whether na mag-re-renew kayo or mag-re-request ng certificate. So select lang po yung transaction. Or authenticated na certificate or PRC professional or professional identification card so dyan lang po, select lang po so ganyan lang po kadali so follow nyo lang po yung mga steps, so sana po ay natulungan kayo ng video tutorial na ito kung natulungan kayo ng video na ito, please don't forget to share para makatulong din po tayo sa iba at please subscribe po, if you have any question, just leave it in the comment section I have also video tutorial on how to make new PRC Liris account. Ilalagay ko po sa ang link sa description box.